dual use security software. Keep your security software up to date. Do update your operating systems and other software. Hello, my name is Mark Janal Jr. Today I'm going to discuss a cyber attack that takes a company's important data, scrambles it <laughs> into like an encrypted code, and in most cases can only be retrieved by paying the hacker who stole the data. I will also discuss how we can protect uh, not only ourselves, but our companies from this kind of attack. This uh, story is courtesy of Allison Grace Johannesson for Norton Life Lock. The idea behind ransomware, which is a form of malicious software, is simple. Lock and encrypt a victim's computer or device data, then demand a ransom to restore access. In many cases, the victim must pay the cyber criminal within a set amount of time or risk losing access forever. And since malware attacks are often deployed by cyber thieves, paying the ransom doesn't ensure access will be restored. Ransomware holds your personal files hostage, keeping you from your documents, photos, and financial information. Those files are still on your computer, but the malware has encrypted your device, making the data stored on your computer or mobile device inaccessible. While the idea behind ransomware may be simple, fighting back when you're the victim of malicious ransomware attack can be more complex. And if the attackers don't give you uh, the, de the decryption key, you may be unable to regain access to your data or device. Knowing the types of ransomware out there, along with some of the do's and don'ts surrounding these attacks can go a long way <laughs> toward helping protect yourself from becoming a victim of ransomware. How does ransomware attacks work? Ransomware attacks work by gaining access to your computer or device and then locking and encrypting the data stored on it. How does this happen? It often happens when victims mistakenly download malware through email attachments or links from unknown sources, which happens to be hackers. Ransomware prevents you from accessing the files stored on your computer. This malicious software essentially holds your files hostage, which can wreck, which can wreak havoc on an extreme broad scale for larger organizations. While a ransom is demanded, there's no guarantee your data will be restored if you pay that ransom. Even if you pay, the attackers may never give you the, the decryption key. This makes ransomware tricky to navigate. Who are the targets of ransomware attacks, you say? Ransomware can spread across the internet without specific targets, but the nature of this file encrypting malware means that cyber criminals are also able to choose their targets. The, this targeting ability enables cyber criminals to go after those who can and possibly are more likely to pay larger ransoms. Here are the four target groups and how each may be impacted. Groups that are perceived as having smaller security teams. Universities fall into this sometimes into this category because they often have less security along with a high level of file sharing. Organizations that can and will pay quickly. Government agencies, banks, medical facilities, and similar groups constitute this group because they need immediate access to their files and may be willing to pay quickly to get them. An example of this is the ransomware attack on Colonial Pipeline in 2021. The US fuel pipeline operator had to shut down its entire network and ended up paying the hackers a ransom of 4.4 million in Bitcoin. Some of the ransom was later recovered. Firms, the next group is firms that hold sensitive data. Law firms and similar organizations may be targeted because cyber criminals bank on the legal controversies that could ensue if the data being held for a ransom is leaked. Next group is businesses in the Western markets. Cyber criminals go for the bigger payouts, which means targeting corporate entities. Part of this involves focusing on the United Kingdom, the United States, and Canada due to greater wealth and personal computer use. How to help protect against ransomware. This is the part that we need to pay attention to. There are steps you can take to protect your computer and devices against being infiltrated by ransomware. So also we have to keep our companies that we work for in mind. We have to protect ourselves and we have to protect our companies. Number one, always back up your data. If you made an external backup of your files, then you should have access to your data if cyber criminals try to steal and hold it hostage. Number two, install reliable ransomware protection software. Number three, stay updated. Keep your operating system, programs, and security software up to date. 
This helps to protect you against the latest malware with the latest security patches. Number four, never click on email attachments or links from unknown sources. They could have malware embedded in them. Number five, be cautious when online. Malicious websites and pop-up ads are just waiting for you to click on them. Number six, don't surf the web on public Wi-Fi networks. Using a VPN, short for virtual private network, can help keep your data private. Number seven, never use USB sticks from unknown sources. You don't want to provide an easy gateway for hackers. Here are the do's and don'ts of ransomware. Ransomware is a profitable pursuit for cyber criminals and can be difficult to stop. Prevention is the most important aspect of protecting your personal data. To deter cyber criminals and help protect against a ransomware attack, keep in mind these eight do's and don'ts. Number one, do use security software. To help protect your data, install and use trusted security software that offers more than just antivirus features. Some security software can help detect and protect against threats to your identity and your devices, including your mobile phones. Number two, keep your security software up to date. New ransomware variants continue to appear, so having up-to-date internet security software will help protect your devices against cyber attacks. Number three, do update your operating systems and other software. Software updates frequently include patches for newly discovered security vulnerabilities that could be exploited by ransomware attackers. Number four, don't automatically open email attachments. Email is one of the main methods for delivering ransomware. Avoid opening emails and attachments from unfamiliar or untrusted sources. Phishing spam in, par in particular can fool you into clicking on a legitimate looking link in an email that actually contains malicious code. The malware then prevents you from accessing your data, holds that data hostage, and demands a ransom. Number five, don't be wary of email attachment that advises you to enable macros to view its content. Once enabled, macro malware can in infect multiple files. Unless you are absolutely sure the email is genuine and from a trusted source, delete the email. Number six, don't back up important data to an external hard drive. Attackers can gain leverage over their victims by encrypting valuable files and making them inaccessible. If the victim has backup copies, the cyber criminal loses some advantage. Backup files allow victims to restore their files once the infection has been cleaned up. Ensure that backups are protected or stored offline so that attackers can't access them. Do you, number seven, do use cloud services. This can help mitigate a ransomware infection since many cloud services retain previous versions of files allowing you to roll back to the unencrypted form. Number eight, don't pay the ransom. Keep in mind, you may not get your files back even if you pay the ransom. A cyber criminal could ask you to pay again and again and again, extorting money from you but never releasing your data. So did I leave anything? Please let me know. I want to know your thoughts. Please click the, um, click the notification bell. Please hit the subscribe button. Oh, see you on the next video. Stay safe, Hack Pack.